reviews. I ain't never done this bad boy, but I'm about to. So let's get over this bitch. What's going on people, it's your boy Brass Tax and this bitch you already know. Now these reviews are broken down into three parts. Part one is about the movie, where I will talk a little bit about the movie, spoiler free, the plot somewhat, but generally I'll just give you my thoughts on this bitch. Part two, I will go balls deep, we're talking balls deep, we're talking no rubber, balls deep, maybe the balls hanging out, maybe the balls go in there with that bitch, we don't even know. We're just gonna have to find out. And I will talk about the transfer specifically. Explain that shit to you guys so you know what to expect when you're picking one of these bad boys up. And part three, I'll pretty much give you my final thoughts on this bitch. If you subscribe, great. If you don't, go fuck yourselves. I'm just joking, I'm just joking. Let's get on with this bitch. So Ryan Reynolds plays Wade Wilson, right? He's a former Special Forces operative. And he's spending most of his time right now as a bit of a low-key mercenary. You know, chasing stalkers, debt collecting, what have you. He's one of them. He eventually falls in love with Marina Baccarin. Now, if I butchered your name, baby, I am so sorry. You know, fall in love, he's talking that marriage shit or whatever, and then he comes to find out that he's got lung cancer in this bitch. God damn! And obviously him and his wife are kind of going through some shit. Do you know what I'm saying? This scientist gets his attention and basically tells him he could fix him. And you have Deadpool. Trouble ensues. Now I know some of you guys are watching this and say, well, look, that's not all that's gone on in the movie. And you're absolutely right. There's actually a lot going on in this movie, but at its core, Deadpool is a love story. Sprinkled on top of that love story is a shit ton of violence, a shit ton of laughs, a little bit of sex. That sex scene is one of the best sex scenes I've ever done seen. I just need to talk about it for one sec. I can't talk about it. You guys just gotta watch it. You guys gotta watch it. You guys gotta watch it. Shit. But anyway, my thoughts on it is real simple. One of the best superhero movies ever made. Awesome. Uh, this movie has been talked about for ages. They leaked some footage with Ryan Reynolds as Deadpool and that shit went viral. There is absolutely not a better person to play Deadpool than Ryan Reynolds. It's like Wolverine and Hugh Jackman. It's like that shit. There are some Hugh Jackman gags in this bitch too, which is quite funny. My only gripe with the movie is that it should have been longer in this bitch. I could watch that shit for 10 hours. Make a director's cut with 10 hours in that bitch. Outtakes and all. This is an important movie in a lot of ways because I think it started spearheading a lot more R-rated Marvel movies because I think they've seen how successful this bad boy is. Made with relatively little money as well. And it made shit ton of money. So now you've got movies like Logan coming out. A1 movie, 100% recommend it. If you haven't watched it already, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with you. Let's talk about a transfer. Shot in 3.4K. Visual effects, 2K. Digital intermediate, 4K. Dolby Atmos sound. This 4K presentation is awesome to say the least. I'll tell you what I did notice. Obviously I've seen the Blu-ray and I've seen the 4K on my HDR set. I've also seen the 4K on a non-HDR set. And I gotta say, with this movie specifically, a non-HDR 4K set and a HDR 4K set is a night and day difference in this bitch. The HDR adds a ton to this movie. One of the first things that's gonna stick out to you uh, is Deadpool's outfit. God damn! Deadpool's outfit is fucking amazing. You're seeing different shades of reds and and wear and tear on the outfit itself, little stitching in the outfit that you wouldn't even notice on the 1080p. Let's just keep that real. Secondly, the detail in the sky, the clouds, what have you, sun, everything looks phenomenal. Brickwork, buildings, the showdown at the end, there is detail there that you're just not gonna see on a 1080p. The colors look amazing too with this wider color space. Even with Deadpool in the car, do you know what I'm saying? You notice a lot of shit there. Even the picture of the taxi driver's wife, is more detailed on that bitch. The opening credits are among some of the best opening credits I've ever seen in a movie. It looks even better in 4K. At the beginning, you know the bullet that whizzes past? That's detailed like a motherfucker. Shining and everything all sorts. Because of the level of detail and because of the HDR, you got depth of field. And depth of field is very prominent in this bitch on pretty much every scene. Scenes in spacious landscapes and what have you, like the beginning and the end of the movie, look Fucking phenomenal. You know that it's CGI. Let's just keep it real. Colossus looks CGI, but he also looks fucking fantastic. It's weird. 
right? Because I know it's CGI, but the reflections and the other details in the metal and everything on him, on his body, no homo. Can you say no homo about a CGI character? I don't even know. The CGI of Colossus looks pretty good. There are other CGI shots which you're going to notice are CGI, but they're not deal breakers at all. Overall, great 4K Blu-ray transfer. I'm sure it's going to be cheaper now as well. And if you haven't got it already, I don't know why. It's Marina Baccarin. God damn. I don't know why I didn't put you in my top 10. I don't know why. You're beautiful. Girl, I loved you in this. I love you in Gotham in good old 1080p. I love you in everything. You know when Ryan Reynolds first meets her and she's in the red? God damn. I ain't even been with a hooker this year. You will pass me, baby. Anything you want. Applause for you. Brass tax. Seal of approval in this bitch. Final thoughts. Look, guys, there's not really much more to say as you should pick it up. It's a fantastic movie. It's a fucking A1 transfer. A1 movie in this bitch. What are you waiting for? Go pick it up. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. Hit the like button if you liked it. Hit the subscribe. You know how it works. There's going to be more reviews coming up. I appreciate all the support. Take care. God bless. I'll catch you soon.